Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I'm here today to review and try and wear the whole day this new Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hour Hydrating Boost Full Coverage Foundation. And I have it in 150 rose vanilla. And this is the only shade I have so I really hope this is going to look good on me because I'm going out. <laughs> I'm going out, <laughs> so I really hope this will work. I love Rimmel's foundations. Uh, I used them a couple of years ago, and I do like them. One of those foundations, I forgot which one, but it was my holy grail. And then I find somebody, something else that I like, so I, I forgot a little bit about this brand. But I saw the... I couldn't keep my hands away. And of course, I'm going to try it out, so let's go. It's actually a little bit already late, 12.25 but I'll wear it as long as I can. So I already moisturized my skin. I'm going in with Kaya Cosmetics. This is the, um, the perfect primer for combination than oily skin. They also have the version for dry skin that's more hydrating. And I'm almost out. I like this primer, it's not bad. It's not, you know, the best, best out there, but it's not bad primer at all. So let's go in with this primer. It feels thick, but on the skin it feels light, and afterwards it kind of sinks into the skin fast. And what I like about this primer is you can't feel it on the skin, but also it's a little bit tacky so the foundation sticks to it a little bit better. It's not like hydro uh, gripping primers but it's not bad. I haven't even swatched these shades so I really hope it will look good. It's so hard to color match on the website and I bought a bunch of new foundations to try out. So let's go. And also bought the like blending palette for me to put the foundation on because I always drop some foundation on my hand and then I forgot that I have foundation on my hand when I dress and I have that foundation all over my, all over my clothes. So I'm going to... and it's kind of thick. Looks like shade is going to match. I'm using the new Cash Beauties sponge. To, oh, perfect shade. Yeah. I could go in with a brush too, but I'm too lazy. Well, oh, love this shade is perfect, mm, and it has that fresh, a little bit flowery scent. It not, it's not overpowering, but it's there. So let me just say that I can't even see it on my skin. Oh my god, this foundation is so beautiful. I have some white dots on my face from something. I did use two pumps now on half of my face, but this is how it looks. It's medium coverage, but it looks like my skin. It looks really, really nice. And the shade is just a perfect match. Oh, I'm good. So, two more pumps. I did use a lot. Could probably use less foundation if I go in with a brush, but like I said, too lazy. And I found the sponge a little, like a faster tool for me to blend foundations with. And I do want to finish this makeup look as fast as possible because I want to wear this foundation the whole day. So, I this looks like my skin. You can still see my um, uh, birthmarks and some of this coloration on my skin, but it, even the skin tone, it looks like it has a medium coverage. We'll see if I can build it up just a little bit. You, I could definitely maybe spot conceal on some, some places uh, and build up the coverage. Yeah, you can build it up, but I think it will. it's more like a medium coverage, which doesn't bother me. I could definitely spot conceal. 
I usually like full coverage foundations, but this looks like my skin and it sinked into the skin perfectly. The shade is a perfect match right now and my neck is always lighter than my face. And I never color match to my neck because I look like a ghost. I can't feel the foundation on my skin. It looks so good. This is the result. I have no filters, anything. I'm going in with Joa Beauty's Truly Yours uh, concealer that I got from my friend Valerie. It's one of the best concealers. And this shade is at the br like a pink undertone and I really love it. This is uh, 020. And I love this concealer. Do they like each other, the foundation and the concealer? This concealer is medium coverage too, so it feels like this is my skin. It looks so good. I love it. Using the Aerospun. Going to drugstore today. So this is my face. Looks perfect. Oh my god, I don't remember a foundation that looks this good. Catrice, yes, but I feel like this is even better than the Catrice one. Could be definitely a new favorite. So I'll do bronze. I'll go drugstore drug store today. Let's go drug drugstore. I'm using the Essence Matte Sun Club Matte Bronzer Powder. Mm, this one smells nice too. And I won't go drugstore with brushes. I'm sorry, guys. This is the Cash Beauty One brush. Like a powder bronzer blush. Love it for bronzer. And this bronzer is so easy to build up. It's like shade, but it's so easy to build up and blend. So I really like it. I love my face being very bronzed. So I always go with, go heavy with my bronzer. I just prefer that look and I don't care. I'm going with the CoverGirl Insta Cheekbones palette that I got from my friend Valerie. And this is in shade Mm, 200, 230. I don't know. I'll show you here on the back. I like these. I have a couple of these. I use them all the time. I'm using one of other Cash Beauties. I'm going in with this in the center. I'm going in with this shade here and use it as a highlight with my finger just to highlight a little bit, not too much. That's cute. I can't see my elf primer anywhere, so I'm going to go in, sorry guys, with the eye, icing eyeshadow base from Glam Light. I can't see find my elf, probably somewhere in a drawer. I'll go with Colourpop or Forest Sign. This is their Raw Christ Beauty collection. I don't know if they have it still in the stock. I'm going in with Cash Beauty's new blush brush, this blending brush for the new collection. And going in with Old Grow, I think it's called this one here. I don't know if this is still available. But I'm going in with it on my eyes. And then I'm using another smaller blending blush from Cash Beauty with the new, from the new collection. And I'm going in with uh, Rainer, this shade here. Just place that here on the end. I love Colourpop's eyeshadows. And I'm going in with this gold, West, West Coast, I think it's called. Look at this pigmentation. Then I'm taking number eight from Cash Beauty and going in the first shade that we had on the low lash line. Going in Makeup, makeup Brow Pencil. 
This is a little bit too dark for me, but I will leave it again because I do like this product. I like that. We are not going to touch it anymore. It's okay. We go natural. I love how my face looks. Okay, I'm not done with the foundation. I just want to show you. It's 12.45 almost. And my face looks so good. It must be one of the best foundation I've tried. If it is, I'm going to buy so many of these. I love, 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 love how it looks. Perfect foundation. Okay. I'm going in with, this is the Colourpop Just a Tint uh, lip crayon in shade, oh, I don't know what shade it is, it's like a orangey, oh here it says, Rise and Shine, mm, love this, goes very nice with the makeup. Some mascara going in with my favorite mascaras right now, and it's this um, Lash Paradise L'Oreal. Sorry, guys, it has to be one of the best. Oh, before I go in with that, I'm going in with Oil Control Catrice Matte Fixing. I'm almost out. Okay, guys, so this is the final look now. It looks so good, the foundation, 1247, and it looks so, so good. I love how it looks like my skin. This foundation looks like my skin. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to go off with my day, and I'll let you know in close how it looks. See you soon. Hi, guys. I'm back. It's very late. <laughs> it's almost, it's 11.30 p.m., and I've been having this foundation on for a very, very, very long time. And I didn't touch up. I did touch my face a lot today. I've been out in the rain, in strong wind, and I thought and I thought that this foundation won't survive. But this is how it looks. And let me just say I have oily to combination skin. On my chin, it's it went off because I've been touching my face a lot and I've been eating and yeah cleaning my mouth around my mouth so of course the foundation is gone here but everywhere else it looks so good it did settle a little bit in these lines that i have but it's nothing major i think this foundation looks really really good it looks so good on my pores on my nose on my forehead everywhere else i do look healthy shine i don't look, don't look oily i don't feel oily I don't even feel like I have foundation on. So I really, really love this foundation and I'll definitely recommend it. It's one of the best foundation I've ever tried. And I'm so happy that this shade is so perfect. So I'll continue wearing it. I'll continue trying it out and we'll see if I like it as much, uh, if I'll find something else. I don't really know, I'm not sure. I have plenty of foundations to review. so. It's subscribe to my channel if you want to see more reviews and honest opinion about products please let me know down below also let me know if there is any foundation or another product you want me to try out guys thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye